For the spring lab, you're going to be making a number of measurements. You want to be consistent, so we're going to measure from the bottom of the spring. When you hang a mass from the spring, it's going to cause the spring to stretch. This is the equilibrium point. This is where the force of gravity equals the force of the spring upward. All of our measurements for how far the spring is stretched are going to be measured from that original location to the new location. We only care about the stretched distance of the spring, not the actual length of the spring itself. You also need the start location. That's a few centimeters below that rest location. When it's released there, you'll notice it bounces from the start to the end location. Look what's in the middle. That, should, that spot should look familiar. This lab is all about making observations. Look at how the spring bounces. Look at velocities, accelerations, position. You need to talk about all of those. Now you're curious what will happen if we do this. I don't want you to do this, so I'll do it for you. Now, you don't have to. Now remember, there's a difference between the rest position and the start position. This is rest. Don't drop it from there. This is start. This is where you drop it from. Small difference, but pay attention to it. Oh, there's just one more thing. These pencils won't be here when you're doing this lab. These are just here for the video to help you kind of get an idea of what you're looking for. You're going to have to do this as you see it here. You'll hang the mass, you'll get your measurements, see where the starting point is, the ending point, the equilibrium point, all of those. And you'll have to get your measurements using a meter stick as you expect. Whether you use the top crossbar for a reference or the tabletop for a reference, that's up to you. Make your measurements carefully. There's a lot of measurements in this lab. Good luck.